guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. Beautiful day today and I kind of want to do a cloudy straight pour. So that's what we're going to do on this 20 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Loft. So let me show you my colors and we will get started. First, I have DecoArt Americana Decor Satin Enamels in pure white mixed with Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in pure white. Not quite a mound on a mound on a mound. My gold, 24 karat gold from DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics. 24 karat gold. A small mound on a mound. Uh, this one is Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt. And I have added a little bit of my Liquitex Deep Turquoise that I had left over and I mixed them together. So it's a nice dark turquoisey metallic. <laughs> Okay, this one is DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in Zinc, and I have added some Permanent Deep Violet to it. She's made this really cool, like, metallic sort of dioxazine purpley sort of color. Pretty neat. So the Zinc by itself, when you open the bottle, it looks really, really pretty, but I've, I just, I've not had good experiences using it by itself, but I love it when it's mixed with the, I mixed it with a Violet from Arteza once, it was awesome. And this one, the permanent deep violet. Okay, I also have here quinacridone violet from Goldens, and a little bit, and I'm still not positive if I want to use that or not. This is drips from the other day that I have thinned out and added water to. We're going to use as our flow extender. Okay, so let's layer our cup. We're going to add a tiny bit of gold to the center. I'm going to layer it, but I'm going to pour it as a straight pour. So. I'm going to start with that, start with a very small bit of white. I think I do want that quinacridone violet in there. Let's go into our, let's put another little bit of gold first. We're going to add some of the purpley zinc. Small layer of white again. We're gonna go into our turquoise. A little bit of gold. A little bit of white. Let's go back to the purple. I'm gonna put some of that violet on top of that. So for a 20 by 20 canvas, to figure out how much paint you need, you multiply 20 by 20, length times width, then you divide by 28. So that's 400 divided by 28, you come up with like 15.7 something or other. So about 15, 16 ounces of paint for a 20 by 20. Okay, so let's see, let's go back to the white again. I'm going to put some of that turquoise in there now. A little bit of gold. So I'm keeping the turquoise kind of away from the purple and the pink by using the white and the gold as a buffer in between. Let's go back to the pink this time. Isn't that funny how you're not sure you want something and then it becomes really important? <laughs> close. Probably 13 ounces now. A good layer of white. So that's probably 16 ounces right there. So that's good. We're going to stop right there. All right. So this is different than how I usually do it. This, I usually have thicker layers, but you notice there's a lot of small layers in there this time. So let's pour a little bit of gold in the center. Ready? Okay, we're gonna do a straight pour. 
Oh, hi, Gail. Just end that with a little spiral. Mm, not too bad. <laughs> All right. So I want to put a ring of gold around this, just a very small one and maybe some white too, because I am using that baby blue as my flow extender, and I really don't want any of that to stay on the canvas. So, again, buffers. Using the white as a buffer. Okay, now this one. Thinned it out several times on, on before we started. <laughs> That's pretty. Okay, so we're gonna go around this with our flow extender now. We want to make sure we have enough on our corners. Okay, let's move these over. Spread this out just a touch. So the blue is my drips from the other night. And what I do, I scrape my table after we're done pouring. And I usually scrape it into a cup. And then I put it inside, put some plastic over the top of it, and it's ready to use whenever I want it to. So, so I do not anticipate that blue staying on there. Okay, let's tilt it, shall we? Which part do I like the most? I don't know, it's going to be cool when it opens up and spreads out. This part's really neat in here. Let's go off that edge first. And see, we're getting all that blue off. There we go. It took very little of our pour off. Just enough to hook it over the corner. We're going to come back down to the center. And go off that edge. So cool looking. <laughs> it never gets old. Okay, we're gonna go down off that bottom corner. Look at this for a second. I like this part. For some reason, this is bugging me. I think I'm gonna take some of that off on that corner.
Some really interesting things happening over here. for a second. <laughs> okay, so the reason I didn't want to use the quinacridone violet is because, I don't know, it's for me, it's like weird with the, the turquoise, but they're separate enough in this that it's, it's almost like two different paintings. Like this top part is one part and then this bottom part with the green and the turquoise is another. But it's kind of trippy. I think we're gonna leave that like that. See what happens. <laughs> Let me wipe my hands off real quick. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> you always like the weird ones though. <laughs> oh, no. mm -hmm. That's probably why you like me. <laughs> well, it's interesting. This part is really trippy in here. If I could open that up, it would be more of that. But I'd, I like the, the swirl. I like this part up there. I like this. This is really interesting. So we're going to leave it alone and see how it goes. So that should be cool. The reason that I was thinking of using the, the quinacridone violet is because I was kind of hoping it would mix with the white and give us some of this more pink, cloudy sort of stuff. But I guess I didn't put enough white next to the pink to make that happen. No, that's okay. This is really beautiful. Let's torch it real quick. See if we get some more cells coming up. So that's cool. I'll show you guys when it's dry. Okay, so this is a couple of days later and it's totally dry now. This one turned out really neat. There's some really amazing parts in here. I love these lines in here with this beautiful blue mixed with the white, that metallic cobalt. And this one was the weird one that had like the zinc mixed with the permanent deep violet. <laughs> this part turned out amazing. That is so cool. And I love the center, a lot of beautiful depth in there. And this is, you know, this is the reason that I get frustrated when I don't do the center correctly because it shows, but this one turned out pretty neat. And I love these lines in here. So this one was a straight pour and it really reminds me of my sweet Sarah Max work. You know, she does the beautiful straight pours, the galaxy ones that turn out so amazing. I don't know if you guys have been watching her channel or not, but she's having a few health issues and some challenges right now. And I would love it if you guys could go pop over to her channel and show her some love and, you know, watch a few videos because she's going to have some downtime and not be able to pour for a bit. And I would love it if you guys could, you know, maybe help out. We're going to be making donations to her channel and she has a PayPal. So if you guys are inclined or you've, you know, learn things from her please go show her some love and uh you know so that's pretty awesome she's such a sweet lady really is but this one turned out pretty neat there's the quinacridone violet up there at the top which is the one that i almost didn't use <laughs> but this part in here where those like jiggly lines kind of opened up and stretched out so beautiful to me just really cool and in here that's beautiful too we didn't quite get the fish skeleton that I don't like, so that's good. So, very wispy, very dreamy, very pretty. A lot like Sarah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for hanging out with us. And the crazy wind, Gail, who's <laughs> blowing like crazy right now. <laughs>
we will see you guys for the next one. Hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye-bye.